Hi everybody! Alright, we're here today with something new and interesting, at least I think so. Um, <laughs> I don't know. So I just, I just, I've thought it was interesting for a long time. So I go to a store here in Sa the San Jose area called the Universal Connection. And it is a metaphysical store. I will include a link to their online um, web, their website and their online store in the description below. Um, they do do online orders and that sort of thing. They have always, when you go into their shop, which is really cute, it's on Lincoln Avenue, by the way, if you're in the San Jose area, you should stop in over there. They have crystals and incense and their store just really has a positive atmosphere and one th one of the things they have by the cash register when you're checking out is this dish of these cards and each one of these little cards has like a positive affirmation word um, or phrase on it and they're called angel cards they do sell them there and actually when I was there uh, recently they were sold out and I may at some point just order myself some from their online store because every time I go, they seem to be sold out of them. I did, though, when I got home, think, you know, I should make myself some with words on them that have meaning for me or that are reminders for me in particular. So the more I thought about that, the more the idea wouldn't leave me alone. And I came up with three and, well, two and a half pages of words I sat down at the computer while I was chatting with friends and I created some pages that have words on them that for me have meaning or are reminders for me on things I want to do or be or say. And I printed them on one side with just black ink and on, on just plain white cardstock. And then I took them and put them back in the printer and printed the back side with some artwork. Now this is my feather uh, download. I have printed it four times on one page and um, because I wanted it to be smaller. I didn't want a, the one page really big because each one of the cards is going to end up being really small. It's only going to be this big. So I got everything printed up just like this and then I'm going to show you how I made them. This is what they look like when they're finished in this little jar that I had. Um, there's just this little deck of cards and I can at random every day just pull one out. This is <laughs> so appropriate for me right now. Breathe. Remember to breathe. Um, and you can carry it around with you. You can put it in your pocket or in your wallet for the day um, or longer. And just, you know, use it as a reminder. It's sort of a secure, almost a security thing, right? I did, as you can see, kind of, you can see that it's a little shiny, right? So I'm going to show you how I did that old-fashioned way. You don't need anything special for this. You um, can just do it with stuff that you have. You need the printable. So I'm going to um, have this printable um, set of um, work cards available in my shop and for sale. And um, you can print it out and then you can um, um, make your own deck of cards. So how, how I, once I had it printed, I wanted it laminated because I really want it to sort of last a little while, right? It's going to get held and rubbed on and stuck into my wallet or God knows where. I'm thinking about making a little sort of a kind of a key envelope or pocket keychain attachment for my bag that um, periodically I can just open it. I can take the card that's in there out put another one in and close it and then I just I know that cards with me or one or more so that's gonna be in a different video but the, that's what my thoughts are um, so okay so what I did is I took my car my card once it was printed and some clear packing tape old-fashioned clear packing tape and just put it down on the card and then I took a, take a gift card this is a frosting spreader and just make sure you get all the air bubbles out. And then another piece of tape, overlap them just a little bit. I know you're not gonna be able to see because the tape is clear. <laughs> if you get, um, like right there, I, I did this on the original deck too, I got one little one where there was like this fold in it, but 
once you cut them up, it's going to be fine. Try not to do that, though. I did it in the original deck, too. Okay, push it down really well, then lift it up off your surface, in this case my table. There we go. And so now you can see it's laminated, right? So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. <laughs> I got a piece of string or something stuck in there. Okay, that's okay. Now on this half sheet, it isn't super important that you do all the way down. For just for the sake of de demonstration, I'm going to, but you don't necessarily have to. You want to make sure you cover the part where the words are, though, that you get the words. Okay. You can push down each row of tape after you do it, or you can um, do the whole page after you get it all taped. But whatever you do, do push the tape down really well. Right. I'm going to do the other two sets. There's an air bubble right there. There we go. Got it. So if you get an air bubble, if you just do that, did you hear that pop? If you just do that and you push on it, usually you can pop, push it towards the seam where your tape is um, overlapping the other one, and usually you can pop it out. All right, I'm going to do the other two sheets. I'll be right back. Once you have your sheet all taped up, it's as simple as getting out your paper trimmer. Now this is an exacto guillotine style trimmer. And I'm going to line up the edges of the cardstock to start with to get me some straight edges. Then I'm going to go in, let's move this out. And I'm going to line up the black grid lines on the print. Once I get all the excess tape cut off. And start cutting my cards out. Just follow those lines on that grid. That's why I left the lines on there on the printable when I created it. And then once you get that done and into rows, of course, then you can cut your cards apart. Now you could use these as tags in some of your artwork. You could just have them out laying around your studio. If you're having a gathering of like-minded friends and art enthusiasts, um, you could scatter them across the table. They could use them as inspiration for their work or their journal pages. I just really love them. I can't even tell you guys how much. Um, I'm going to cut these up and add them to my bowl. I like the idea of having two decks in the bowl because then uh, there's plenty in there. I can give some away to friends when they come. I can encourage them to take one home with them. Just really cool. So I don't know what you want to call them, a positive affirmation deck and a um, I don't know. I think positive affirmation deck is a good is a good name for it. Whatever I, whatever I've decided, I'm sure is in the title of the video. <laughs> so I don't know what that is right now. <coughs> but I've enjoyed making them, and you don't need anything but your printer and some packing tape. Now, if you don't have a computer and you're thinking, you know, I don't have a computer or I do have a computer but I don't have a printer, um, you could make this by hand and measure out your 
squares on a piece of paper, put words in them that work for you, that are inspiring for you, that are affirmations for you, and create your own. I would love to see what you do if you guys do that. I would love to see your cards. So that's it. I'm going to finish cutting my cards apart and add, add them to my little bowl. I hope this gives you some ideas of something interesting and unique that you can do. Um, the most important thing is to go out and have a great day, everybody, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.